our buddy Shem. Shem Infinite on Twitter. He put he put it nicely when it comes to the Rittenhouse trial. He says, if anybody isn't watching the trial, I can sum up the last four hours of testimony. Why did you shoot these people that were trying to kill you? And then, of course, Kyle responding, they were trying to kill me. Yeah. That's pretty much what it came down to. And then you have these, these smarmy, prick-faced little prosecutors that then, uh, I mean, it was so pathetic. I said, it, it, if it weren't, if it weren't a man's, a young man's life dangling in the balance, and if it didn't have greater in, uh, implications for Americans at large with our ability to defend our lives through use of lethal force, especially with the, with the years that, we ha- that we've already been exposed to and the years that are coming, you think that if you think that all of the leftist flash mob pal- paramilitary terrorism is over with, then you got another thing coming. First of all, they won, they won the 2020 election, so they got to pipe down on all the bullshit just for a little bit. But it doesn't matter who the hell's in office soon. Once people start starving, then we're going to have other problems. Glenn Greenwald said this about the trial. I never commented on the Rittenhouse case until I started watching large chunks of the trial. And all I can say is that anyone who has done the same uh, has done the same and denies that there's a huge gap between the media narrative about this and what actually happened is not telling the truth. It's true. Um, And he actually gave kudos, and kudos are deserved, to Anna Kasparian, who's nuts on every other day of the week. Anna Kasparian for acknowledging that she actually watched the trial and she realized that the narrative that she was fed by corporate media about Rittenhouse case was wildly different than the fact. And this before the most important evidence. Listen to this. Well, look, these details do matter because this stuff is caught on camera. You do see uh, it in the video, someone uh, taking a skateboard and hitting uh, Rittenhouse over the head with it as he's on his back. Uh, There's there's someone captured on video, someone who has not been identified, kicking Rittenhouse in the face. So look, these details matter because if you're gonna make an argument that you acted in self-defense, there needs to be some proof that there was uh, an imminent threat, right? And and in this case, the imminent threat is the guy using the skateboard and someone kicking Rittenhouse in the face as he's on his back. And initially, I was under the assumption that Rittenhouse was the person who was chasing after Joseph Rosenbaum, that, that that's how it had started. But I was wrong about that. Okay, so I want to correct the record. I was, in fact, wrong about it. So, there, so, I mean, good for her. And, of course, if you're watching mainstream television, which is where a lot of the underling networks, like uh, Young Turks, start off watching, but when they uh, form their initial opinions on things, then you would think that Rittenhouse went there just to, to be in, in a shooting gallery. I can't even go into the details right now because we don't have the time and the, the topics tonight are a little bit more, are unrelated to this, but the details of how it, it was a, a parody, like I said before, it would be comedy if it weren't just the life of a young man hanging in the balance, but also the implications of, the, of future instances where Americans are going to have to defend themselves with lethal force. It, w- it would be parody, the line of questioning that these these smarmy bastard liberal prosecutors were going to the dipshit prosecutor that trying to pick apart the high, uh, his, a high school volunteer activities and TikTok usernames it, it it was pathetic it really was pathetic and a lot of people were saying this is very dangerous to have Kyle Rittenhouse up there on the stand today I, I listen I, 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 I the trial the murder trial was already won yesterday or the day before when the 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 surviving communist thug told the truth about when Rittenhouse raised his gun and actually fired into his now missing arm um but yeah I don't know where where there are, if there's going to be any trials about miss you know gun charges if there's going to there isn't going to be anything sent down but as far as murder goes that's over with it's completely over with. I mean, you, you just never know, obviously, because you have you have the jury, and in many cases, I think that this prosecutor's probably was probably trying to uh, push all of the the mistakes he was making on purpose, getting the judge pissed off on purpose. 
I couldn't believe how how often the judge was reprimanding the prosecutor. I, I, I thought that at any moment there, the judge was going to throw the whole thing out and declare a mistrial. In, in which case, I guess the left would be able to say that they didn't lose the trial. It was thrown out on a technicality. They didn't have to take the L. That's what I was... And with me, with no training whatsoever, I'm just watching this from a sitcom standpoint. Some observational... Um, writer's standpoint, I um, it was it was really unbelievable, and that obnoxious, passive, aggressive prosecutor. He is he is represents every liberal teacher, every news reporter, every rec center lady out there in the country. We are being badgered every day by these handsy, liberal, smarmy prosecutor types all day. Every day, and it was, uh, I believe it was, what's his name? It was Martyr Maid, the Martyr Maid account, who went out and, and said something very interesting and, of course, true. In 15 to 20 years, unless we push these totalitarians out of power, people will read that Judge Kavanaugh was a rapist, that Nick Sandman viciously attacked a Native American elder, and Trump was caught in bed with Putin, and Kyle Rittenhouse murdered three modern day Emmett Tills. That's the danger here. It really is. There's much more that could be said about the Kyle Rittenhouse thing, and and much more will be said, because it doesn't look like this thing is going to be wrapping up until about Tuesday, according to what the judge was talking about. Like, like, like I'm, I have to keep bringing it up. For example, when I say these really weak lines of questioning, the prosecutor kept bringing up this idea, this thing that they, they have a quote or that Kyle Rittenhouse had once said that he would like to shoot a shoplifter or that he had made some kind of comment about shooting a shoplifter and trying to use this shoplifter, uh, trying to use this as a, as a, um, uh, an indication of what his mindset was going into that evening, which is ridiculous because subsequent action does not even, is not even relevant to that because he didn't go and just randomly start shooting shoplifters. He only shot people who were posing in mortal harm, mortal danger to his own life. But this is the kind of shit they tried doing over and over again, made absolutely no damn sense. Brought up Call of Duty, brought up his video game habits. What kind of video games you watch? And, and do they have similar guns in the video game? It was pathetic, pathetic, absolutely pathetic, asking him, well, you know, with the, all, all the, the street closures. Why are you there with the street closures? Well, the, the streets were closed and there was a curfew that night. Why were you there? Oh, he's concerned now about Kyle Rittenhouse being out on closed streets and past curfew now. Then he should have spent the last year hunting down all of the shoplifters who were burning down the fucking city where people had to board up their buildings, board up their shops, and also leave signs on the shops to let them know whether or not there were children living in the apartments above. You know why? Because they were randomly, recklessly burning down private property of everybody, supposedly in, in out of anger for somebody, somebody else who had been shot by police, who had um, quite an interesting past and present. They go after the innocent. What the hell is that? It's not a protest. It's it's a it's an act of terrorism, and I gotta just say, um, I hope I hope there are a lot of moms and dads out there raising Kyle Rittenhouses, because he, I mean, the, the, his to have his kind of poise at 17, 18, even in a trial setting, is unbelievable. This has made a man of him very quickly. It, it's unbelievable.